You did an interview on Between the Ropes, and we're, I'm going to read a little bit of what you said on that interview. Whose idea was it, Kurt, uh, to do this? You know what? Joe and I came together, and we decided, because Joe was a judo, um, you know, black belt in judo. I was an Olympic gold medalist wrestler, so we both grappled. And Joe and I decided, you know, it would be kind of cool to have an MMA-style match. And so we presented it to the creative, and they said, this is great. We'd love to do that because they want to start doing different things. They don't want to be like, uh, you know, same old stuff all, all the time. They wanted to change things a little bit. That's cool. So nobody that you can recall was against it. They were saying, hey, let's try something different. We're in. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's one thing in TNA. If you want to do something, they would hear you out. So part of your interview, you said, we're going to have an MMA style at the pay-per-view, and this is the beginning of what TNA is going to start doing. Now, Kurt, you're not pretending the match will be a real fight or a shoot, uh, so to say, are you? You're just saying it's going to be MMA-like, right? MMA style, yeah. It's not going to be a real fight. <laughs> you know, if it was, I would win. But you know what Joe <laughs> would say? This, Samoa Joe would say the same thing. He would say he would win. I love you for that. But, um, yeah, it, it wasn't a real fight, and we weren't going to make it a real fight. So you'd go on to say in the interview, Kurt, Joe and I are actually putting a hell of a match together that is going to be very much MMA oriented. It's going to be inside a cage. I don't even think we're going to wear shoes. We're going to tape our ankles. We're going to be putting on the gloves. Dude, how excited are you though for something like this? This was cool. I always try. I always like trying new things and to be able to do this, especially with MMA as hot as it was and being able to do it with Joe and having such a great match with him. Uh, that was that was one of my top 10 favorite matches of my career. And it was, it was very different, you know, very, very physical match. We really laid into each other. We tried to make it look as real as we possibly could. We didn't completely go away from the pro wrestling thing because we had pinfalls, but most of it was submissions. Well, buddy, listen, uh, there's a live impact uh, that's going to be, they're going to have that builds to lockdown. And uh, I know you got to be excited about that because in your mind, didn't TNA need to have more live shows if they were going to get better? Yeah, yeah. You know what? TNA needed to have live shows. Um, things started getting stagnant, you know, recording the shows all the time, same place uh, every week uh, at Universal Studios. So uh, having a live show really ignited the company. Well, not only that, Kurt, don't you think it keeps you guys on your toes a little bit more as performers? Yeah, but, you know, when you compare live shows to tape shows, thing is, live shows, your adrenaline's pumping a lot more. But you're going to make sure you do the spots that are safe. If you tape a show, you're probably going to take more chances and try things that are more dangerous. And if you mess up, you know it's taped, you just do it over again. So I, I think that they both have advantages but I like going live because I don't like to have, I, I like putting pressure on myself not to screw up and have the match as it is. Yeah, no, that's true. And as fans, dude, I got to tell you, it just feels different live. There's just a different I, I energy. Know. I, the fans say that too. Uh, you know, when they know where they're at a tape show and what happens in a tape show is after a match is over, they wait like 10 minutes to set up for the next match. And so they, the fans, you know, mentally, they know the show's taped. This is going to be an all day thing. But, you know, when you go live, you know, it's live. You know, you, you can't do it. You can't wait. You can't pause. You have to keep keep the show going for two hours consistently. Yeah. 